SAP interface on Palo Alto Favo. Today, I want to show you how to configure the SAP interface or dot one q interface on Palo Alto Favo. In a previous video, I showed you how to configure traditional L3 interface. That means it's without the dot one q tag. Today, I will show you how to do SAP interface. Why would you use a SAP interface? Well, you can configure multiple logical interfaces inside one single physical interface and each of the logical interface can be in a different zone can be connected to the different vrf and you're still keeping the separation of the traffic even if it goes over the over the uh, single physical interface let's quickly review the lab and i'll show you what we, what we try to configure today so for today we're using this left hand side of the lab we have the workstation connected to the switch and what we want to do is this access port is configured for the VLAN 100 this interface is configured as a trunk which allows VLAN 100 and this interface which is 1 slash 2 on a Palo Alto firewall I will configure as a sub interface that one can with a 100 VLAN attached to it the IP address will be 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 uh, there is IP address on the on the test machine once we all configure the interface everything else like the policy is not and routing is configured on the firewall we should get the internet access through the firewall and over to the over to the internet so let's begin my management station is here on the right i am connected to it i'm connected to the firewall we can see the internet um, interface is con configured with the van zone and now we need to configure the one slash two and we need to configure the sub interface so i will highlight the interface now click the add sub interface at the bottom and layer three sub interface pops out it will be vlan 100 i will comment it as a lan tag is a 100 now that's very important you can give it a different number and then a different tag the tag is the important this is what we're expecting when the traffic comes from the switch that it will be tagged with a dot one q tag of 100 now virtual router is a default one we have on the default configured the security zone it's pre-configured already it's a lan so i will click lan now for ip version 4 I have pre already pre-configured as a LAN IP. I'll show you later that when we click on it, it will show is a 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 uh, the only thing for uh, in advance is the management profile is a ping. If you don't know how to configure the management profile, please have a look at one of my previous video. I've showed how to configure the management profile. And I click, okay. You can see we have interface one slash two and now we have a sub interface one slash two dot one hundred tag is one hundred we have a LAN IP we can have a look here we should see the value ten dot ten dot ten dot one and management profile thing command is LAN that looks all very good so let's move my picture here and commit the configuration Click the commit. Wait for the commit. Wait for the commit to finish. Please, if you like the contact, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to grow it. Thanks. Now, commit is completed. Close the window. And now let's have a look at the test machine here. Password in. Let's open the browser and see if we have a connectivity. Okay, let's for example open BBC Sport. Yes, we can see we have we have internet connectivity, so it looks like our configuration for dot one q sub interface on Palo Alto Firewall was successful. If we go quickly back, just we can look at the configuration one more time. So we can see for the WAN interface, I have a traditional L3 interface. For the LAN interface, I have configured a sub interface one q interface for for layer three so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time